And meanwhile, the River State Police Command has killed one notorious criminal, Peter Chuku, who has been in the wanted lease of the Nigerian police since 2017 after leading his gang to kill over 20 persons in Mbo Shimini, in Obiakpo, local government area of the state in 2017. Commissioner of Police CPO Latunji Disu briefing newsmen at the command headquarters Moscow in Port Harcourt narrated how the slain Daddy Chuku and members of his criminal gang killed the Community Development Committee of Mbo Shimini chairman. Another man inside a church and attempted to kill a hotel owner in Port Harcourt planted tracker in his car and detonated devices in his hotel. On 6th of March 2024, that Shuku and his gang planted IED bombs in the hotel of this same person that we wanted to kill. They exploded it and damaged a big part of the hotel. We discovered a list of people he intends to kill that is assassination list. So that made us make up our mind quickly that he needed to be picked up before he could put the actions, the plan into action. The intelligence response team, with the assistance of officers of Delta State Police Command, stormed this fight out in the Busa, Delta State, Delta State. He was found hibernating in the residence of his abalist, where he went for spiritual fortification. Speaking on behalf of Mbo Shimini people, Livingstone, which another victim of the notorious gangster, thanks the police authority for the breakthrough and called on the commissioner of police to go after the remaining criminals and their sponsors who are still threatening hell on the people. I want to specially thank you, sir. I'm asking that you shouldn't relent. Our community is still under threat. These criminal gangs and their known sponsors, whose names I wouldn't mention, you already have the details. Have threatened to launch a fresh attack to give this result a pardon and create the impression that indeed the ritual was not a problem. I want to say, sir, kindly take further steps while we are working in our little ways as a local community with vigilante to give further backups and intelligence and further patrols in the community. as a threat and as a rebel to his regime and government. So definitely my ear was cut off with that of my friend DK Alabo, who is today sick, he's supposed to be here with us. But I thank the government and the Nigerian police for apprehending him. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.